Hello fellow campers. How many of you have been out on a camping trip and it was just a gorgeous day with very few bugs, no, you know, few mosquitoes, not a lot of noise, not a lot of sun, not too hot, not too cold. <laughs> and it just seemed like the perfect day to sit outside and work on your laptop. Well, um, of course, maybe a lot of you have had the same problem which I've had, which is with the laptop glare. It's really hard to see the screen. So this is just a quick video of a little laptop glare cover that I made um, out of cardboard. And it was a little bit hard to make, actually. <laughs> Not super hard. I mean, it just took some time. But it was it's really cheap, and it folds up for storage in, in our camper. And, it, you know, it's pretty effective. It's not completely 100% finished yet. Um, in terms of the fabric cover, which really blocks a lot of the sun glare. But um, I'll show it to you. And if you're looking for something, I looked all over to try to find another solution that wasn't expensive. And they were a lot of the um, glare screens for professional videographers and people like that were quite a bit of money. Um, I mean, they looked really very nice, um, but I just wasn't prepared to spend that kind of money at the moment. So this is working at the moment for us. And uh, the only problem with it is it's not super durable because it's just made out of cardboard. So basically you build a box like this that comes apart in certain places so that it can fold up but still stay intact as a unit. <laughs> and then you put a some kind of fabric, dark fabric preferred, cover over your head and this. And the function of the box is to basically hold the fabric up over your screen so it's not sagging in the wind and you know sagging down into your view of what you're doing. You probably would want to make a much smaller custom dark fabric cover that reaches from the back around here and, and back around your head um, that isn't quite as bulky as this. This is <laughs> this was my quick and dirty bringing a sheet from home solution. And it's nothing that fancy. Um, sorry about the cow patty here. We're camped outside of Laramie, Wyoming in this Pole Mountain area which is just amazing. It's beautiful. Um, it's just cardboard, pretty stiff cardboard covered with contact shelf paper, the, the, you know, the type that has the self-stick adhesive on the back, and a few places where you use the Gorilla Tape on the hinges. Um, in the back here I've got two um, zip tie hinges there and some more Gorilla Tape. So I'll take it apart and you can, I'll give you the measurements in case you're interested. These are just little black plastic twisty ties. Oops, there's that cow poop. Folds up like this. And that's all the room it takes up in our trailer. And here are the measurements. You can stop the video if you can't can't read the measurements and uh, double check them. This is a Dell 15 Inspiron 5000. Fourteen and a half, sixteen and a half, sixteen and a half. 16 and a half, 14 and a quarter, 15, 11 and a quarter, same for this side, this is 16 and a half by 11 and a quarter, and this top is 16 
by this top is 16 and 1 8 by 11. This is Gorilla Tape. This is Gorilla Tape. I think I left this gap here for cables to come in. Uh, and I'll show you I'll show you the back side. Here's the flip side, all covered with the contact uh, self-adhesive contact paper. I think because in case it was raining, I thought it would protect the cardboard. Of course, if it's raining, I'd probably be inside our trailer working. Um, I guess you could make a waterproof fabric cover though, if you don't mind sitting out in the rain. And this is really not very fancy. Just a twisty tie poking through this hole here. And sometimes it is hard to get through the hole. But that's enough to hold it up. Happy computing!